what's going on everybody? How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about Bamboo Labs and their amazing 3D printers. I want to share with you kind of my story of how I got into this and tell you my overall honest opinions and give you a review on some of the Bamboo Labs printers. As you can see behind me, I have one of each of their printers and let me say they are just amazing. I absolutely love them. But a little bit of backstory. I started 3D printing with a very, very cheap printer, very small build plate, really kind of a crappy printer to be honest. I was just amazed by how it could take this little filament, melt it down, and make a shape. And I just thought it was just awesome. So I'm like, you know, this, this one that I have is just a little bit too slow for me. The build plate is way too small. Did a ton of research, came along, the Bamboo Labs, never heard of them in my life. And I'm like, okay, let's try this out. Oh my God, it's 600 bucks, it's pretty expensive. But I'm like, you know, let's take the leap, let's try it out, and boy, am I glad I did. So I started with the Bamboo Labs P1P, paid $5.99 about four months ago, maybe five, and now I have five machines total. And I must say, I'm pretty addicted to it. It is so much fun, and the quality prints that these make and the products you can make with the stuff is just beyond amazing. I've been selling on Etsy and locally on like Facebook for the, probably the past two to three months. And I've already sold enough stuff to pay for all three of these. Plus I have two more P1Ss that I have to install over here tonight. So I have five Bamboo Labs total. I also have a, a Kitty X Max 3, which I'll be doing a review on that soon. I had a Neptune 3 Max. Uh, Elegoo printer. That one's gone. I didn't really care for it. I didn't really need the full size huge bill plate and it was really slow. So I went from that guy and I bought the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max which is faster, has Wi-Fi, it's got the large build volume and to be honest I had issues with that. I just couldn't get it working right and to be honest I don't need that big of a volume. So actually today I got rid of those two and I'm probably going to go ahead and buy more of these Bamboo Labs. I already have five and I bought the extra two because I'm having trouble keeping up with the demand of some of the stuff I'm selling, which I'll show you a couple of them in a minute. So back to the BP1P here. I started with this without the AMS and I was just addicted right away. Took it out of the box, plugged it all in, did the calibration, did the first print, and it just worked beautifully. And I really haven't had any issue at all with any of these except for user error, and maybe one out of 20 prints, a little item will mess up, but not a big deal with the amount I've been printing with these. And as you can see, if you do print like I do around the clock, I kept this mess here on purpose. Um, I could have cleaned it up for this video, but this is the reality of this. If you, if you have a very small farm, which hopefully in a year I'll have 20 of these machines, that's the plan. Um, but anyways, if you have, this much stuff going on and you're by yourself. I do this all by myself. There's no way to keep this clean. So I just kind of got used to the mess. Um, eventually I'll get it cleaned up. I'm gonna have my son start helping me soon because I just can't keep up with what I've been selling. And uh, yeah, these things are just amazing. So once again, here's the P1P. I didn't add this AMS until probably about a month ago. I bought it for full price, $349 and it's worth every single penny. I love the AMS units on these. Uh, my second one that I bought is over here because I love that one so much. I said, let me go ahead and go with their ultimate machine, the X-Carbon Combo. And uh, here it is. This one is, I think I paid 1400 if I remember right. And uh, I love it. It includes the screen, um, of course, I got the combo unit, so it included the AMS. It's got the LiDAR built in, so it'll kind of scan your first layer and or notice if you have any spaghetti defects, and it'll actually stop the print and warn you to come up and check to see if that has happened. It's actually saved probably only about three to four prints, but when it did detect it, I did come up and remove it. Or if it did ruin the print, I told it to stop and it saved me a lot of time and filament, which is great. But overall, this thing is awesome. The touch screen is awesome. And this thing has been a workhorse, just like all these. All three are amazing. Um, no issues really at all. So this one I primarily use for PETG material. 
Um, other than that, I print everything in PLA, PLA+. Plus. Uh, the PET-G is a little bit stronger and it's better for uh, like, it's better for outdoors or taking more of a temperature. I sell some stuff for automobiles and I started with the PLA and I noticed when it got really hot in the summer, the PLA would actually warp and kind of ruin my product. So I switched over anything on the car and now I do it in PET-G and that has solved my problem with that. It is a little bit harder to print with. Um, you do have to have a much hotter bed and extruder, uh, but it works perfectly fine on this. No issues at all with that. Other than having some issues with it sticking to the bed plate. But I just learned from doing a lot of research, all you need is some hairspray. I spray a tiny bit of this on the bed, let it dry, and then have it print like normal, and the Pet G peels right off like no problem. Um, the last print I did without using hairspray, I was in the bathroom scrubbing it, trying to knock off the Pet G using soapy water, hot water. I even read you could put it in the, the freezer for a minute and it might help it expand and be able to pop off. None of that really worked. So I finally got it cleaned after probably 30, 40 minutes of scrubbing it and chipping away at it. And then I read about this, I haven't had any issues at all with spraying a tiny bit of hairspray on it. So, if you've never done that, definitely do it. It'll save you so much time and effort. It's great. Um, I have extra bill plates. So some of the bill plates that I highly recommend and that really makes your product almost to the next level on certain items is these type of plates. This one has carbon fiber. So when your print's done, you'll get a cool carbon fiber look to it. And then this one's kind of like a triangle type material and that's exactly how the bottom of your print will look and it looks really cool and kind of like shines and sparkles. I highly recommend these. These everything sticks especially PLA. You don't even have to have it heated up as much it just sticks so well to these plates. I've never had anything curl up or become loose with either one of these and these are just some cheap ones from Amazon. All right I have all three machines printed today. I got some stuff done, so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I printed today and what it's for. So once again, this is the Pet G. Before spraying with the hairspray, I would have to get a scraper to scrape this line off, and I really have trouble getting this um, part off. But watch how easy it is with the hairspray. It literally peels right off, which is just amazing to me. And then this will pop off when I you know, flex the plate. But here's this print. Actually, it comes off without even flexing. So this is a automobile part for like a Ford Explorer ST. This goes up by your dash and people really, really like it. Gives a nice custom look. And this is really the only way to make something like this. So very cool, people love this thing. If you have an Explorer ST, I'll put a link down below. And uh, these are really, really cool and very popular. All right, over here we got a batch of stuff printed. So these are AMS risers. That's the automatic material system. And basically it just lifts it off the top of the machine. I got them on all three of these. I don't know if you can see them very well, but they just go into the side of the AMS and lift it off. This is a must have. This is one of the easiest prints for it. Prints it a really big one. This goes all the way around and makes a box. And it looked okay, but I'm more into the simple thing. I don't even like this. So I printed a simple one and it does perfectly fine for what I need. This one over here is just the fourth one because I have two more P1S's that I'm going to be installing tonight. So now a question a lot of people probably have. Which one is truly worth it? Which one do you want to go out and spend your good hard and earn money on? I think for starters, I'm super glad I went with a P1P. Um, it got me started, it got me excited about printing, and this was actually right before they talked about coming out with this P1S. So this is basically a P1P with a case, and then you get a door and of course glass on top. And it was only like, I think it was $100 more than the P1P at the time. So once I realized how much I love these AMSs, I bought one of these to try it out and then that was going to do this comparison video because this one is 949 with 
the AMS. That one I think is $1450 with the AMS, about $500 difference. Now the question everybody wants to know is, is this worth the extra $500? And I'm going to say yes and no. I say yes if you're already have, if you're rich or have a business that's thriving, you might as well go ahead and go with the biggest and greatest. The screen is really awesome to have. It makes running the entire unit so much better. And it's just awesome. The, the LiDAR system works really well and I haven't had really any issues with this at all. However, if you're kind of a new business like me and you're still getting started and you're having just enough sales to cover the cost of the machines after say a month or two, um, what I did is I bought two, I bought, so on Black Friday I was thinking what do I want to buy? This was $150 off, this was $100 off, and for me they print pretty much exactly the same. There's no real difference in quality of print. So for me, you can get two of these here for, this is Black Friday pricing, which is over. You can get two of these here for 1,600 bucks, or one of these for 1,300. To me, this is the absolute winner out of their whole entire lineup. The price is really good. The system is really good. This little screen that some people talk about that they don't really like, once you get used to it, it's so, so easy to use. And plus I control almost everything on the Bamboo Handy app anyways. So I'm more than satisfied with the screen. And like I said, it prints just as good as that one. So personally, if you can save 500 bucks or if you're gonna buy multiple machines, say if you wanted two of these, you can literally get three of these for the price of two of those basically, pretty close. So once again, no brainer for me. P1S is awesome. And I highly, I highly recommend all of them. But if you're starting out, I'd probably go with this one. I got rid of both of my Elegoo Neptune printers today just because they're not even in the same league as these guys. These just work all day long, all night long. I had so much trouble with those. I don't have the time or patience to deal with stuff not sticking to the bed, stuff curling up every time because the bed's too big. Or if anybody but from Bamboo watches this video, I know you guys already know this, but please make a larger format printer. Everybody wants one. Make it like 350 by 350 or something like that. People will buy the heck out of those. I know I'll be buying them. I'll buy several at launch. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all about any of these or just 3D printing in general, let me know down in the comments. But if you could please do me a big favor, like this video and subscribe. It helps me out more than you'll ever know. Uh, when people search bamboo printers without the likes and subscribes, my videos never show, but if you, if you click that for me, it'll raise it up into the search feature, and it just helps me out a lot, so I'd really, really appreciate it. So you one more thing before I go. This is something I've been printing like crazy. This is another reason why I bought two more, and it is these light boxes. What they are is pretty much any brand that you want. Car, automobile, cartoon character, I mean anything, anything that's just a, a kind of a simple image you can make these out of. What they are, just these plastic boxes, and you can see through here, so you put an LED strip in here, and it makes the entire box glow, and you set it on your shelf, or hang it on your wall, or whatever you wanna do. And these are really popular. People love these things, including me, they're just awesome. They're pretty easy to print overall. It doesn't cost a ton to print them. If you have a good supply on LEDs, those can be really cheap. And these are awesome. They're so much fun to make. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, please like it and subscribe. If you have any comments, let me know down below, and I'll try to answer that for you. And you all have a great day. Bamboo out.